The use of neoadjuvant therapy for HER2 positive breast cancers is an area of uh, um, increasing understanding, knowledge, and interest. Uh, we know that patients clearly achieve a higher chance of a complete pathologic response rate with the addition of trastuzumab to standard chemotherapy. And of course, we know that both in the neoadjuvant and adjuvant settings, and that is now uh, the standard of care. We also know that patients who achieve a complete pathologic response rate tend to have a better disease-free survival, particularly those that are hormone receptor negative. So we have begun to use this platform to test new drugs. Uh, most recently, uh, lapatinib and uh, pertuzumab were two drugs that have been tested in large-scale trials. And both of these drugs do increase the complete pathologic response rate over and above that which is seen with trastuzumab and chemotherapy alone. And on that basis, pertuzumab, which actually showed a larger increase, but also in other trials has been shown to improve survival in the metastatic setting on, on all of the basis of that data, not just the neoadjuvant data, uh, but the long-term uh, data in metastatic disease. The Food and Drug Administration uh, approved pertuzumab in the neoadjuvant setting using a new pathway to approval that they had developed over the past few years. Uh, and that was contingent upon uh, a adequately powered adjuvant trial showing an improvement in disease-free survival. But nevertheless, that accelerated approval of pertuzumab has now made it the standard of care uh, because it improves the complete pathologic response rate. And so on the basis of the Neosphere trial, which looked at docetaxel with either trastuzumab or trastuzumab plus pertuzumab, followed by fluorouracil, epirubicin, and cyclophosphamide, showing a higher PCR rate. And then another trial, the Trifena, showing uh, in three different pertuzumab-containing arms, either FEC, uh, followed by ataxane, or with non-anthracycline, with docetaxel and carboplatin, that one got similar uh, a complete pathologic response rate. So those two trials together really laid the foundation for either anthracycline or non-anthracycline containing uh, pertuzumab therapy. So what are the advantages to the patients? Well, presumably the additional downstaging may further increase the number of patients that can have uh, breast conserving surgery, but also uh, the downstaging of the axilla may allow patients to undergo less uh, aggressive surgery, a sentinel node only instead of a full axillary dissection if they in fact are downstaged to the point that the sentinel nodes are negative. So uh, this has really, uh, uh, I believe, helped us understand which therapies improve complete pathologic response rates, but also which of those may have an impact on disease-free survival. So this platform is now being used with many other drugs, uh, including immunotherapy, uh, other uh, HER2 pathway inhibitors, uh, to further explore how we might uh, improve uh, not only local control, as I mentioned, but ultimately prioritize trials that can show uh, which drugs added to standard therapy can actually have an impact on uh, disease-free and overall survival.